Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing Channel. In this video, we are going to be reviewing the new Polar Series from Autoglim, which consists of a trio of three products that you can use as a suite or individually. Polar Blast, the pre-wash snow foam. Polar Wash, the contact wash shampoo. And Polar Seal, I think it's called, or Polar Bear. Um, Polar Seal, which is a, how do I describe this? It's like a spray and rinse type product. The key thing to take away from what this product is, that it is a lance, snow foam lance delivered wash mechanism that you're gonna need a pressure washer for and a snow foam lance. Let's get stuck into this review. Okay guys, so in this video, forgive the dodgy camera selfie mode thing, I don't normally do this, but I'm only gonna be using the Auto Glim products, the Polar Blast pre-wash, the Polar Wash contact wash, and I'll tell you all about them in a little bit, and the Polar Seal. Uh, beyond that, I'm only using those chemical products. Beyond that, I'm gonna have a drying towel, I'm gonna have one microfiber cloth, and I'm gonna have a pile of these kind of eBay wash mitts, which are surprisingly good quality for the very low price point. And uh, they, they work well in a multi-wash method kind of scenario. I'm gonna have an empty bucket here with the, it's got that detail guard uh, thing in there. It'd be good to have a grit, some sort of grit guard in there, but it's not important um, for this wash method, obviously. Oh, there goes the pressure washer. I'm gonna just have an empty bucket that I'm gonna use to discard dirty wash mitts in. And I'm gonna have just a bucket here with only two types of brushes. I'm just, I won't go into it, but my alloy wheels are freshly painted and I'm handling them with extreme care at the moment. So I'm just using two very simple products. The Microfiber Madness Incredi brush for the barrel and the Detail Factory brush for the face. Um, you might want something more aggressive depending on the state of your alloys. That is it. Tell me why you have to go and drive me so crazy? Now I feel lost without you and I just can't be without you, baby. Want you all night long? Want you all night long? Tell me why you have to go and drive me so crazy? Now I feel lost without you and I just can't be without you, baby. Want you.
Okay guys, so the car is all clean. How did I get on? What did I think about this product? Let's just go through the basics first, guys. The Polar Blast costs 17 quid for 2.5 litres. The Polar Wash costs 15 quid for 2.5 litres. And the Polar Seal Spray-On Sealant costs 20 quid for a litre. Auto Glimmer of Eyes, you use the Polar Blast at 100 amount of product to 600 um, in the snow foam, which will give you 25 washes, 68p a wash. With this, about they recommend you use it about 50-50 in the snow foam lance, so it's, again, the key thing is that you're putting the your shampoo, your contact shampoo in the snow foam lance, and that'll work out about the same cost per litre, although, let's just move on to the final one. Polar Seal, they reckon you, you should use about 40 millilitres of product to, to 200 millilitres of water. Um, so again, that will give you 25 washes roughly, at uh, a cost of 80p per wash. Sounds like they've designed it all so you run it, you use all three products the same way, assuming you use the sealant every time you kind of wash your car. Note on this, 600 millilitres of, of their snow foam pre-wash was about twice the amount that I needed to use um, when doing this car. And also I was filling up the arches a lot with the snow foam. Um, and stuff like that, using more product than normal. So really you could halve the amount of product they're using. Same with the shampoo as well, because you're not spraying it all in the arches and stuff, just on the panels, it's quite a lot of product, but they're trying to give you a ballpark figure so that you have more than you need and less than you need. But you could effectively slash that cost per wash by half. Note, the average cost per wash out of 20 automotive shampoos that I tested um, back in the best of shampoo was 39p. So if you use it as Auto Glim intended, it's roughly twice the cost, or just under twice the cost per wash of average. If you use it as you need it, it's actually below the cost of average. So that's an important kind of comparison to give you, because um, you know it just gives you an idea on um, price and stuff like that. What are the pros and cons of this, guys? So I used it with a multi-wash method, like multi-mitt wash method, so I didn't have to fill the bucket up with cold water and keep going in for the, um, you know, to clear out my mitt. However, you could just use one wash mitt and fill up your bucket with water and rinse out the mitt. But the pros of this, guys, it is a very fast way of getting around the car and you don't, you save time going back into the bucket to pick up more product because it's already there on the car. Um, you also, because you're covering the wash, the polar wash over the car, a bit like you would a snow foam, you know, a pre-wash, you're also getting the benefit of a double soak. So you're, while you're cleaning the front of the car and working your way around the car, the rest of the car is still getting kind of a soaking effect from having that, that kind of product on there. So that's perhaps an advantage. Um, so it's mainly around speed, guys. The, the time it takes to go and apply the polar seal to the outside of your car as well, you are you can just run it round and then rinse it off and it just literally takes a couple of minutes. So you can pre-wash, wash and seal your car very rapidly. And um, at the moment when it's freezing cold, I do, I, you know, sometimes I love being outside and spending all the time detailing my car and doing all sorts of stuff. But right now it's it's absolutely freezing cold and a fast method works for me. So that was a, a positive. The negatives, guys, um, some of these negatives are conceptual. The problem, the benefit of it being freezing cold is that there is virtually no risk of any of this product drying. When you are in the summer and you're putting, you know, detergents and stuff on your car and the panels are warm and you're in sunlight, you know, you have the risk of water spotting and it's the detailing 101 foundation rule is be very mindful of the sun. But sometimes, guys, when it's hot, I want to wash my car and I do it outside. Um, the disadvantage of putting a wash mechanism into a lance and spraying it all over the car is that while you're perhaps working your way around the car and stuff like that, some of that product has a higher risk of drying out and there is more product on your car if it does dry out. Um, so that is a consideration. However, in the same way when you're putting detergents on your car with a bucket wash me method, in you know you work around the heat. Well, you don't have to spray the polar wash, the contact wash, all over your car. You could spray it on one section and work that and then rinse that section and then spray it on another section and work that section and rinse that section and then rinse the front and stuff. So you can always work around heat, but Auto Glim, you know, their instructions, most of the foundation of their instructions tell you to be mindful about working in hot temperatures um, and stuff like that, and so does this. But it's a consideration that I want to pick up in the review, but I can't, 
it works very well in the winter basically um, and you'd perhaps that maybe want to consider tweaking your technique as you would with a bucket wash in the blazing hot summer um, especially moving on to the polar seal guys these rinse products like I say you don't really it's pretty obvious what they're giving you you can put protection on your car very very rapidly the other benefit is because it's freshly laid down um, it makes the car very easy to dry so when you're drying the panels you haven't got the water kind of sticking there it just sort of when you wipe back the panel it comes off and it's nice and clean so it makes the car drying easier so the rinse lance mechanism is also a good drying aid so that kind of gives you a summary of all about these products how much it's going to cost you to use it and some of the pros and cons i will say with the polar seal it's very repellent on application um, you know as soon as you've applied it and rinsed off you can suddenly see the water coming kind of coming off the car and after i've dried the car the car looks nice and glossy and it's delivered me what the product said it would deliver i want to go through for the final considerations on this particular polar series wash system now okay guys final conclusions on this polar series some important things the kit should last you about um, a year approximately um, based on the fact that you're washing your car every two weeks so you'll get 25 washes 50 weeks you've got roughly a year there if you use it every week you're going to get half a year six months that's important also stating the obvious you don't have to buy the full series as far as i know i don't have any laptop here sorry but i'm assuming you can just buy any one of these you know you can can't you um, so you could just buy the sealant if you've already got a pre-wash that you're happy with, you've already got contact wash that you're happy with and you don't want to change to the Lance method but you want to try out the Lance applied um, sealant. So you could just try one of them. Um, there are some quite useful hacks and I've not tested them out but one of the benefits of a Lance applied um, wet coat kind, kind of thing, spray and rinse type product, you know, if, you know what I mean. Um, when it's developed to be used in the lance, they have to up the concentration massively because your, your contact kind of ratio drops whenever you apply anything through the lance. So you are getting a very concentrated product, probably minimal amounts of water in this because of the amount of water it's being mixed with in the lance. Um, the, sometimes when, that, when products are like that, you can experiment with decanting very small amounts, perhaps like five to 10 mil in a thousand liters, uh, milliliters, thousand milliliters, so a one liter bottle, and um, spray it on the panel and then work it over the panel with a wet microfiber and then dry it and that can work. And if you do that, you, you take a tiny amount of product and you get a free bottle of spray sealant, which you normally cost you 15 quid. But I haven't tested that, but it's just a little thing to consider. There are three very important precautions that I want to get across in this video. Um, and it's going back to some things that I've talked about. One, heat. Be very, very careful with any spray-on rinseable sealant when it is hot, okay? Don't break the rule. If it's, you can break it with the detergents and tweak your wash me mechanism, but do not break the hot panel rule when you are using spray-on um, rinseable sealants, guys. They just, the panels need to be cool. That's the easiest way to, to, to say it. Um, another thing, do not... Do not over concentrate these products. You know, Auto Glimmer saying 40 milliliters to um, 200 milliliters of water. Just a little tip for you, and you know, Auto Glimmer know more about it than I do, but perhaps the first time you use it, just put in 30 milliliters to um, 240 um, would be a suggestion. Never over concentrate them and think that oh, if I put in 80 milliliters, I'm going to get more potency and power because you are over concentrating it and you're putting too much product on there. And if you, and we'll move on to the last point. When you spray the product out on the particular panels, it does not need to sit there dwelling. So spray it on, rinse it straight off, guys. And um, if you break the rules on this and that you over concentrate and the panels are the hot and you spray it on, where it's so concentrated and you see little murky foot sort of you know, dots of product, because you're spraying it out, you're atomizing it a little bit in the snow foam lance. If that sits there for too long, it can leave footprints of the product on cars. And 
Um, I've got great application here. I've used them before. I know companies that have had them. They, this Auto Glib are not the pioneers of this, but when they bring something to the mainstream, they, they're going to be developing it and they're going to be testing it for a few years. Um, so generally with the spray on rinse things, the benefits are obvious um, and the risks like when you're applying any products on your cars as considerations. And those are the three main ones that I want to get across. Um, and like I say, they're applicable to any spray and rinse products, but especially highly concentrated products that you put in the lance. Um, what, are, what are my overall thoughts on this, guys? Well, it's pretty obvious what you're getting, and I'm kind of showing you, demoing you the product. And the main benefit is time-saving and laying down protection very, very rapidly. I've, um, there is another consideration about not spraying them on your front, on your glass, for the same reasons that the, the, the glass is greasy, it might not always bond to your glass, auto glim advice, just don't spray it on your glass. So when you're spraying it on the roof, spray it along the top of the roof, away from the glass, not down so it runs over it. When you're spraying it on the bonnet, spray away from the glass, so you're not spraying it onto the glass. When you rinse it off, Rinse it over the side side glasses where there aren't wiper blades because if it goes over the main glass and doesn't bond, you know your wiper blades hit it and you can get smearing. Once you've finished doing that, you should then clean the glass with a glass cleaner and auto glim advise. If you do get any of the product over the glass, just go over with our glass cleaner to to clean the product off. So um, that's another consideration with these particular products. Um, and like I say, you know the benefits, guys. Note as well. This is not, this system is not supposed to be the complete replacement for all of the other detailing principles. So once a year, when the conditions are a bit nicer, you're going to be doing full, full on, spend more time on your car, decon it, clay it, polish it. And when you do, you would put down a wax or a sealant or something like that. Um, and then you would maintain it with this. So the word I'm looking for, it's, it's kind of like a top up maintenance product. And I do think they are very, very good and they will save you time. And I hope this review is kind of showing you what you're getting and uh, the considerations as well, because that's, that's the aim of it. So thank you very much uh, for watching, guys, and I'll see you soon on the Forensics Detailing channel. Bye for now. Holding on to what I knew, but the moment's gone. Where was I when